This is Eugene Panrichwich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Mini 210-1018CL netbook computer with a broken screen that we're going to show you how to change. Now the HP Mini 210 is an extremely popular netbook but there's several flavors of it and this procedure won't work for all the flavors. So if you bought the netbook sometime in 2010 or early 2011, so this procedure will work for you. If you bought it mid-2011 or later, there's a newer design with a totally different procedure, which uh, we'll do as soon as we have it. But this is for a netbook. Here's the part number. Let's see. HP Mini 210. It's uh, the way you can tell one, it's a darker color. The battery's in the middle, and the screen is removed in a different way. Now, the first thing we want to do when working on this is remove the battery. There's two levers or two switches that we've got to switch. One is to unlock the battery on down here. And one is to slide this one on the left to the right and pull the battery out. So, so we pull the battery out before we do any work. Okay, in order to remove the screen, we'll need some tools. The tools are an X-Acto knife with a pointed end, a pair of metal tweezers, an electronics screwdriver, with a PH1 bit and a smaller PH0 bit. The PH1 bit is a red color. I don't know if you can see it, but that's because my nine-year-old son took the permanent marker out and colored it, but it will look prettier. And also some sort of prying tool. You can have a custom prying tool, a plastic or a kitchen spreading knife, or even a plastic knife. You can get a Burger King. Or in this case, I'm going to use a guitar pick. So let's get started. Now, usually for our laptops, what you want to do is remove this front frame or bezel to get to the screen. The HP Mini 210, it's different as you work from the back. So if you look, there's a seam along the back, and you pop open the back cover. So that's where the prying tool comes in. You start opening it. Start prying it open, like so. And this one is coming fairly easily. Fingers might not come as easily. So keep prying it open, and you'll hear some snapping sounds, like you just did. Keep going. Once it pried open, you gently lift the back lid make sure nothing is attached to it and then you see the screen. So what we're going to do well first we're going to put the back lid to the side. What we're going to do is lift up all the cables, lift up the aluminum foil and then we're going to get to the screen. So first step is lift up the antenna like so and this cable too and this here and then there's the video webcam circuit board we're gonna lift that up and we're gonna lift up the third webcam cable like so and then what we have is the video cable and speed is hiding behind the connectors hiding behind the aluminum foil. So we lift up the aluminum foil, and there's some adhesive tape behind the aluminum foil. We lift that up, and the video cable is also has some adhesive on the back. So lots of adhesive, lots of cables. Once we do that, it's freed. We pull out the connector, like so. And 
we move the move the whole assembly out of the way. Now we're gonna move the aluminum foil shield from the screen. Or actually, we can even do that later. What we can do now is remove the screws that secure the screen to the metal mounting brackets on the side. There's two screws, one and two here. So we remove one screw and two. And same thing on this side. One screw. And we use our pH one bit and two. Okay, once we do that, the screen should be ready to be released from the from the frame. We gotta get the screw off the magnet. So what we do now is we lift up the screen. But before we do that, there's some more adhesive tape. Over here that we got a free, and you know, there's some adhesive tape here that we have to free. So let's try again. Let's lift up the screen like so, and just one more piece of adhesive tape, and the screen is out. Now you can see if you look, this one's pretty badly damaged. It's pretty bent. Okay, so when we're ready for the new screen. We lift up this aluminum foil, like so. And set the aluminum foil on the side. Let's take a look at this screen. The part number for this screen, it's, let's get a good focus, come on. N101L6. That's all you need to know. N101L6. It's a 10.1 inch LED screen. Now for HP netbooks, there's another thing that you have to consider. For just about every other netbook, the connector is here. Some of the earlier HP netbooks had the connector here. So once you open up your netbook and you find that the connector is not here, but the connector is here, you're going to need an adapter cable. And most, some places can provide an adapter cable, but make sure that you know if it's a bottom left or bottom right. So, and make sure if you order from somewhere that an ears is here, that they will provide you with an adapter cable. Okay, uh, Screen Surgeons also sells these screens, and we can uh, provide you this screen with an adapter cable if needed. Okay, so when you're ready to get your new screen, you put the aluminum foil back on, and put the screen in, like so, and put all the tape and adhesive back in, and put everything back together. Now it's important to keep this aluminum shield. Don't throw it out. That's an important piece of the design or else I believe you won't get a good Wi-Fi signal or you also might get interference with your laptop or your screen. Okay, and that's it. Um, this is a fairly simple procedure. So make sure you have the right model of netbook, HP Mini 210. and. Uh, Good luck, and once again, my name is Eugene Panrutwich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you.